Hi guys, so I've just received a package in the post and that usually means only one thing a new tarantula <laughs> so yeah this is going to be a video review for Sean I believe his name is and I'll put the username in the title and links will be in the description but yeah he's packed it very well uh, used um, polystyrene and a bit of, you can see, shredded newspaper there as well packed around the spider I've um, brought it to the surface so we can see the container and yeah, so very good packing now let's open it up and see what we've got ok, so I've taken the lid off the container and as you can see, it's a Plenobius muticus, the king baboon and it's a very beautiful looking adult female I did actually have a smaller female that I decided to sell because I did want to have an adult and they take quite a few years to reach this size so yeah, I've got an enclosure set up for her it might only be a temporary one though, I might decide to upgrade her I'm going to be rehousing my Therophosistermi the subadult female into a much larger enclosure so I might use her old enclosure for this spider here but yeah very look, gorgeous looking species and you can see those massive back legs they have much thicker than the others very cool looking indeed <laughs> okay then let's get her into the new enclosure okay so the plan is to gently persuade us to come out however she might react aggressively because this is a baboon species and she, this is in fact the largest species you can get from Africa at least in the hobby so as you can see I'm just lifting her out now with the tissue and hopefully she'll just crawl onto the substrate for me with a gentle prod there we go you can just see the size of her now truly giant species just lift that container out of there there she is let's just take this tissue away very gently there we go now it's time to get the lid before she climbs out <laughs> but yeah, very impressive species just love the coloration that they have and the fact that they are huge you can see the size of her fangs there okay so I just had to pop the lid on because she was making her way out the enclosure and yeah um, this is going to be a temporary enclosure until I get the therophosistermi moved and then she can have her old enclosure which means I can put a lot more substrate in and hopefully she'll make some pretty cool burrows for us but yeah, if you're in the UK then check out Sean's RFUK page we just have more of these for sale as well as some other pretty cool species ok, well I was just um, checking the packaging to make sure there was nothing else in there and turns out it's actually sent me a freebie it's a very cool looking scorpion I don't know what species it is, I'll have to ask him about that one but yeah, this is the largest scorpion I've got now. I've only got a um, small scorpling at the moment. So yeah, great new addition. <laughs> and definitely an A plus for this guy. So please do check him out if you're in the UK. Okay then guys, next video will be a Therophosa Sturmy Rehousing. My largest tarantula into a much larger enclosure. Okay, hope you've enjoyed watching. And I shall see you again soon.